I started the site uh, 11 years ago with, with three friends. Um, we were all math majors. The, the, the tagline of the site now is we use math to get you dates, and I'm not sure whenever we figured that out, but like that was always kind of the idea from the beginning. We wanted to have a dating site that um, reflected people's choices maybe a little bit more than we felt like something like eHarmony did at the time. I don't know. And, and so part of that, one of the first questions you have to ask yourself when you're starting a business that's going to use math is like, what are you going to do the math on? Um, and so that meant that we needed to, to, to start collecting data from people, right? Um, and the way we did this, you know, we were, none of us were single at the time, but we had recently been single and we were kind of trying to simulate in a very simple way, like, um, how two people get to know each other. You know, you basically banter questions back and forth, and then internally you sort of weigh the answers and how much you like what you've heard and uh, how important the question was to you in the first place. So we basically transformed that into a series of radio buttons. Um, and we turned the site on, and we built a little algorithm to sort of, again, sort of add up people's answers and come up with a number, which is a guess at how much you might enjoy talking to somebody. Um, and so you do that, you, you start the site, and people come there, and everything's totally cool, and people are using your site, and you, you, know, you and your friends are like, oh, this might actually work. And then um, you notice uh, in a dating site um, that regardless of what your algorithm is spitting out, and regardless of, of what people write about themselves in the profile, you have this thing that we have come to call the focus problem, where on a page, if you show 10 pictures or whatever, regardless of all this other stuff, people just click on the hottest person on the page. So men and women both, but, it, but especially because men are the initiators, uh, both offline and especially online, they're just dive bombing the hottest women, basically. And, and so that has uh, extremely negative feedback loop in that the women get way too many messages, uh, they leave. They also obviously don't reply because they're kind of like grossed out by the whole thing. Uh, the guys get no replies. They leave, and it's just this enormous uh, race to the bottom, basically. Uh, so um, we realized we needed to, in addition to measuring how much two people might like each other, we needed to measure how attractive these people were. And like, obviously, one way to impute that is, well, who's getting the most messages? That is almost by definition the most attractive. However, that doesn't solve the problem. It, it's, it's a two uh, post facto, because the, the thing that you're trying to prevent has already happened by the time you learn this. So we, we had to make a um, we had to make an interface, a, a little widget, basically called Quick Match, which is, again, super simple. It's basically a knockoff of Hot or Not. Uh, it was, it's one to five stars. You rate a photo and a little bit of text about people, and you just, people just power through these things, giving us votes you know, in, in, the, in the dozens per session. So we get, we get uh, information about how attractive people are very, very quickly before somebody's experience is destroyed, essentially.